New Mexico was to let them see the surface expression of a geothermal system that many of the places we visited around Socorro and, and down at Radium Springs and at the Mass and Greenhouses and, uh, and up in the Valles Caldera, we know from, from drilling and from geophysical studies that there are geothermal reservoirs in the subsurface. And so this was an opportunity for the students to be able to see what the surface expression of a deep buried geothermal system is because if they're out in exploration in some other part of the world, they all have to look for surface features that might be an indication that there's a geothermal system at depth. Dr. Robert Bodner organized the Rio Grande Rift geothermal team in an effort to explore geothermal energy resources from multiple perspectives. By securing funding from the Department of Energy, Dr. Bodner has been able to introduce undergraduates to one of America's most promising geothermal areas. The group from Virginia Tech also engaged with renowned local experts in the field. Students and faculty explored sites of geothermal interest across the state of New Mexico covering the majority of the Rio Grande Rift. The Rio Grande Rift team was afforded the opportunity to view projects ranging from a local district heating well on the New Mexico Tech campus to large-scale commercial greenhouses in Radium Springs. Potential areas for new exploration were also surveyed, giving students critical insight into recognizing salient features of geothermally active areas. Experts in geology and industry were invited to provide information about all facets of this emerging energy resource. Students and faculty explored how new technologies are allowing energy production from permeable layers carrying hot water to the surface. By encouraging each student's personal interest in sustainable energy, Dr. Bodner intends to create a holistic picture of the state of geothermal in New Mexico. Students focused on issues including endangered species management, the politics of geothermal, seismicity, underlying geology and geophysics, and the interaction with local and indigenous communities. The team's faculty endeavored to provide direct emphasis on how to recognize geology likely to yield geothermal resources. This focus will result in a broad, comprehensive white paper while concurrently giving each student invaluable field experience and industry contact. Out here in New Mexico to, to look at some of the geothermal areas of New Mexico. And one of the reasons I wanted to bring the students out here is that when I was a student, it was very important to me that, that my advisors and professors got us out into the field as much as possible. Because geology, you really do have to experience in the field. You can read about it in the classroom, you can see photographs, you can have hand samples of rocks in the laboratories, you can look at thin sections under the microscope, but nothing is better than actually getting out into the field and seeing it in person. And So now that the students have read about a lot of these areas during the course back at Virginia Tech, they're now out here and seeing these things in the field. In, in person, so to speak. And so, so we can talk about these geothermal fluids and the hot waters that come up through the faults. And here the students had an opportunity to actually put their hands in the hot water and feel the hot water that's coming up in some of the geothermal systems. And, and we talked about some of the, the state-of-the-art geothermal systems that are, that are referred to as EGS, or Enhanced Geothermal Systems, where the, 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 there's no water or very little water in the subsurface, but the rocks are very hot. And so the idea is to drill one hole, uh, inject cold water down that well, let the rocks heat that water up, and bring it up through another well to produce electricity. And, and this was the, the birthplace of EGS. And my topic for the white paper is about exploration for geothermal resources. So I'm basically looking at what different techniques you can use, um, geological, which would include like mapping, uh, geochemical, you could look at fluid inclusions or geothermometers, and geophysical, which you can use seismic or magnetotelluric, 
EM, there's, there's all kinds of stuff you can use. Um, so this field trip has actually been really useful for my topic because, especially the first day, because we got to actually see an exploration well and um, I got to see what techniques they've actually been using here in this region, which I did not, I, I'd had some stuff wrong before in my paper. I realized some stuff that might not work here as well. Um, so the field trip's been really, really helpful for my paper and, uh, or my part of the paper, and it's just been really great overall. trip I've actually gathered numerous uh, samples that I can actually go back to school and actually analyze and take detailed notes of you know the porosity the permeability um, for thermal waters to actually um, percolate through to the surface and possibly be a potential resource. Uh, experiences like this are absolutely essential for undergraduates, especially in the eastern part of the U.S. because the geology out here is so different from anything they see in our backyard at Blacksburg or even along the Appalachians. Uh, this is really the first time a lot of the, the, uh, the students have seen rocks like these um, and so that's really a tremendous experience. Um, from the geophysics perspective, you know, a lot of what we do as geophysicists is um, is highly mathematical and so seeing the rocks here in the field not only gives the, the students an appreciation for how these concepts and methods of geophysics uh, translate into the real world, but I think the more important thing is that it, it really emphasizes just how complicated the real world is and, and nails home the sort of compromises that we make as geophysicists when we make these kind of simplistic interpretations. Dr. Bodner and Virginia Tech would like to thank Marshall Ryder, Virgil Luth, Richard Chamberlain, Jim Witcher, Libby Anthony, Sherry Kelly, Mike Linden, and Mark Person for their invaluable help organizing the Very Thermal New Mexico field trip.